Wentz Financial Group presents Zips Basketball Weekly with John Gross. Investment management for your lifetime. Contributing sponsors include Summa Health, it's your health. Let's own it together. Bud Light, the world's famous light beer. Dilly Dilly. Double Tree by Hilton Akron Fairlawn, preferred hotel of Zips Athletics. By your Akron, Canton, Bryant, Heavey, and Cooling Dealers. And the Spaghetti Warehouse, famous for its 15 layer lasagna. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Zips Basketball Weekly with head coach John Gross, brought to you as always by the Wentz Financial Group. Well, the Zips looking for a big dose of March Madness as the Mid American Conference Tournament starts this week up in Cleveland. The Zips scheduled to take on Miami in round number one. A win will put them up against Buffalo Thursday at noon as we welcome in the head coach of the Zips, John Gross. And Coach, just a great win against Bowling Green, a big disappointment against Kent. So you have felt a lot of emotions this week in two games. Yeah, no question. But the one thing I will say, remember last week's show, obviously, we were coming off the Ohio game, and I just didn't feel like we played up to our standards. You know, the, the standard uh, is the standard. Sure. And we didn't meet that. This past week, I thought we played very hard. I thought our defense was good uh, in both games. And, uh, you know, we were much better, certainly, than we were a week ago when we met for the show. Uh, unfortunately for us, we didn't get both of them. Yeah. You know, we wanted to get both of them. Uh, we didn't quite make enough plays and made a couple key defensive mistakes uh, in the second half there, especially in the last five minutes of the game on some ball screen switches that I thought really were costly. You know, I always look at it, Joe, in terms of things you can control. Mm -hmm. You know, you may not be able to control whether the quality shot that we get goes in or not, but can you control our effort, our attitude, yeah. our focus to execute our game plan? And, you know, I thought we were better at those two things this past week, and hopefully we'll be even better as we now approach, you know, this March Madness Season sure. 3 here on Monday against Miami. I guess one of the challenges of coaching is to get that same intensity, that same level of execution every game. I mean, Bowling Green, if you could bottle that up, that'd be something special. Yeah, no question. It was the best game we played yeah. all year. You know, it was. Uh, coming right off maybe the worst game right. we've played all year, and that's the how fickle, you know, uh, this whole thing is. But uh, you're right. Against Bowling Green, our offense and defense was really clicking. Uh, we played well at both ends of the floor. We had a great spirit about our team that I really liked. Uh, heading into that game, and really wasn't surprised that we played well, uh, played very well. Um, I knew in the second one against Kent, I know, you know, in a rivalry game, both teams are going to play sure. hard. I mean, how often do you not see a rivalry game where the want to, to win, to compete is not there from either team? It's going to be there. I knew it was going to come down to execution. I told the guys that for a couple days leading into the game, and the team that was going to execute the best uh, and make the, the least amount of mistakes was going to win the game. And that's ultimately what happened on Friday night. Let's go back and take a look at both games. Uh, Tuesday night, Bowling Green comes to town. Highlights brought to you as always by Summa Health Systems and ESPN. Coach, a lot of uh, intensity. As you said, you're coming off an Ohio game you weren't happy about. I think you knew you were going to get the emotion and the intensity from your team. No, we had great focus leading into the into the game against Bowling Green. I thought our preparation was really good. I thought guys honored the process. Their energy level was terrific for two days. And uh, we got contributions from everybody. And you know, obviously when you're making shots uh, off that execution that we had, Joe, you look even better. And three guys with 20 plus points, a fourth player in double figures. We made 14 threes. We shot over 55% on two point field goals. We had 18 assists on the 37 baskets in the Bowling Green game. So. You know, we had all things clicking. Here you see a back screen executed well by Cheese. Ivy to Utomi layup. Here Jamon is on an isolation situation, makes a big time shot. And obviously we had an opportunity to send Jamon out the right way. And I thought our guys did that. Lauren Christian Jackson with maybe his best game as a zip, 31 points. I'm sure you envisioned him playing this way when you brought him to Akron. Yeah, for sure. You know, obviously offensively, he can be difficult to deal with in pick and rolls. And, now, do I envision him getting 31 every night? You know, certainly we'd love that for that to happen, but especially as efficiently as he did on 22 shots. But, you know, I thought that he was really aggressive, thought he put pressure on the defense. And then I thought at the other end, defensively, he was really pesky. You see him getting a hand on a ball there that leads to a bank steal and layup uh, and played maybe his most complete game as a zip. You're up 44-37 at halftime, Coach. And he came out the second half and outscored the Falcons by 17. Yeah, I've been challenging them, you know, to put – 
you know, you put the foot on the gas. Um, the teams that understand that this thing's about winning, um, that they continue to play. It's a 40-minute game regardless of score. You know, I always share with them uh, one of Dabo Sweeney's quotes that I really like is the most overrated thing in life is a halftime score. <laughs> you know, so, you know, we've got to play 40 minutes. Um, you know, hopefully by this point our guys, our newcomers, uh, have learned that um, through the process of playing throughout the season. You blocked six shots in that game. Now you're blocking a lot of shots here in the last two or three. Well, Manny. Yeah. Manny has that gift yeah. to do that, yeah. you know, and, and obviously was really active in the Bowling Green game, especially around the rim, protecting the rim. Thought he was terrific uh, in doing that. Graded out high defensively. Our team graded out uh, well defensively. So, you know, we did a lot of really good things on, uh, on that Tuesday night. Had four players in double figures, as we said, Jackson with 31. Utomi with 21, Tyler Cheese had 20, Jamond Ivy 13. When you spread out the scoring like that, Coach, uh, you're tough to beat. Yeah, we had a click in that night on all cylinders and all the guys, you know, really, you know, even a couple other guys that we have that didn't score double figures that night are capable, but to have four players in double figures to move the ball, you see it there on that possession where it goes inside out, react to Utomi to Ivy. You know, we really moved the ball. We really played well together at both ends of the floor. Big win for the Zips, and Coach, you tried to uh, take that win and take it to Kent State uh, on Friday night. Then. Yeah, and obviously every game's different. And I right. think sometimes that's hard for people to digest and understand. You try to predict how you're going to play based on who beat who, what yeah. happened last week, what happened a month ago when you played them the first time, et cetera, et cetera. And you just you can't do that. You know, every, every situation's different. You have to play the game that's in front of you. I liked our effort in the Kent State game. Our execution was a little bit lacking. We're going to talk about the Kent game uh, in a few minutes. Right now, we're going to take a break, come back with our special feature. So don't go away. We're back after this. The difference with Wentz Financial Group is that we do not have a cookie cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market, and every client situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. The University of Akron is more than a college or campus. It's a connection to the community. To the thousands of opportunities right here in Northeast Ohio. And to the partnerships with employers and organizations. Like the LeBron James Family Foundation, where we connect kids to life-changing possibilities. It's the strength of UA, this city, and these connections. It's where students make an impact on their community and in the world. While still making an impact in the classroom. On the track. In the boardroom. And in my community. That's what makes us the University of Akron. Okay, welcome back to Zips Basketball with head coach John Gross. It's always fun with our feature each week. we got a special one for you now. We're going to go 94 feet with Jamond Ivey and Lapeer Tolls. My name is Lapeer Tolls. This is Jamond Ivey, and we're going to walk 94 feet and get some insight and knowledge from the man himself. So when you step in between these four lines, what does it mean to you? Um, it means a lot, you know, to play a game that I love um, every day on a daily basis. Uh, you know, it's always a blessing. You know, I'm blessed to play this game with my teammates. Uh, being from, you know, Ohio and so close to Akron, you know, what does it mean to you um, having your family be able to come down to every game that you that you played and support you? It means a lot uh, to have my whole family and my whole hood come down here and um, to represent me um, every game, every home game. You know, it's just uh, I'm blessed again. What advice would you give uh, the upcoming the upcoming players and, and the incoming players? You know, when, when you step in, the, in between these four lines, you know, what's the mentality should, that you should have? Just take every day, take 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 every day one day, take everything one day at a time, man. You know, the grind is gonna be a grind. It's gonna be ups, it's gonna be downs. You can't never give up. You can never get too low. You can never get too high. You know, you gotta take the good, the bad. Uh, tell us tell us uh, about one of your toughest practices. Um, you know, what, what, what does that consist of? In my four of? years? In your four years. Give us, give us from both coaching staffs. Give, okay. us, give us two. Uh, I had one tough practice. Uh, I remember when Coach D was here. It was the day before we played Creighton. Uh, Noah just got, Noah just got, no, Noah's been injured. And he's facing another injury or something like that. And it was just a tough practice. And me and Coach D went at it. And uh, I ended up starting the next day. <laughs> and, I never, and I've been starting ever since. Uh, what about Coach Gross and his staff? Well, Coach Gross, one of the toughest practices, 
had to be uh, Sunday. We had a tough practice Sunday after I lost against OU. It wasn't really like, it wasn't more so tough. It was just you had to wake up at 6.30 in the morning. It was the mental part. Yeah, it was the first time I ever ever had to do that for, do that for years. And, you know, we got after it for quite a lot, quite quite some time. So who who is one of the toughest players uh, to battle against in conference? Who was one of the toughest players to My battle against? four years? Yeah, stepping in between these lines. Um, toughest players. I don't know, man. We got a lot of good players. They are, I respect all of them. I respect everybody that come here. You know, I can't just point out one of them. Been, I've been guarding a lot of good players. So being a Zip and putting that, that Zip's jersey on, what does that mean to you? It means a lot. Uh, play four years at a university. A lot of people don't get to do that. And um, to be a big part of a lot of history um, and stuff like that, it's just the Zips, that, that, that name means a lot to me. Uh, who was one of the toughest players to box out, you know, just in practice or, you know, any, anything like that, you know? There's two people. Um, one is obviously you. Okay, okay. If, it's ridiculous. Okay. If, if you, hey, if you watching this and you play against Peter, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. And two is Peter Agba. Um, <laughs> Peter was a monster on the backboard mm -hmm. to box out, so I'll say y'all too. And, and before we get to the end, what is... What is some of your final words you want to say or thanks or anything, advice you want to give or say to the coaching staff or you know, players or you know, the fans, anything? I just want to say thank you to all the coaches and fans and you know all the former teammates that I had. You know, without y'all, there is no Jamon Ivy. Uh, without y'all, there is you know, nothing. So I just want to say thank you to everybody. And that's a wrap. Our thanks to Jamon Ivey and Lapeer Tolls for that feature. And Coach, if you could walk 94 feet with one person, who would it be? It's a great question. Um, hmm. Former coach, former teammate maybe. I don't know. I mean, one person, that's hard because that there's a, a lot one. of people in my mind right now that I could uh, – that I could choose from, you know, from a coaching perspective, I'd love, because so, times have changed so much, I would love to walk 94 by 50 with John Wooden. There you go. Just to ask him a lot of different questions. That's a great answer. Yeah. One of the best of all time. We're going to take a break, come back. We've got to do it. We're going to take a look at those Kent State highlights right after this. Roman was born with a hole in his heart. But thanks to the experts at SUMA who found the problem and fixed it quickly, he's feeling 26 again. Not 76. Minimally invasive heart procedures, many performed in under two hours. SUMA Health, vital for getting back in the game and more. Sir Jeremy, you are a true friend of the crown. Dilly dilly. Yeah. Dilly dilly. Madam Susan, you are an even truer friend of the crown. Dilly dilly. Yeah. Dilly dilly. What is that? This is a spiced honey mead wine that I have really been into lately. Please follow Sir Brad. He's going to give you a private tour of the pit of misery. I'm sorry, what? Pit of misery. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Here's to the friends you can always count on. Okay, welcome back to Zips Basketball Weekly with head coach John Gross. Now it's time to go back up to the Max Center at Kent State for highlights from the Akron-Kent State game brought to you courtesy of SUMA Health Systems and CBS Sports Network. Coach, you've got your fill now with that uh, rivalry. You've been in a lot of rivalries. Uh, this is a pretty good one. Oh, it's a great one. Great environment on Friday night. Both teams really, I thought, battled and played really, really hard. I thought effort was going to be there. I knew that from the beginning when you play in this. You, know, you don't see very often where in a rivalry game, you know, either team, as I said earlier, is not bringing it from a physical effort standpoint. And I certainly thought our guys did. Uh, as I said earlier, it came down to some execution, some playmaking, um, a few mistakes we made defensively. Uh, rebounding in particular, I thought, was going to be the difference in the game, Joe, as we talked about in the pregame. And uh, they scored 15 second chance points to our eight in a three point loss. So. Ultimately, it was the difference. Uh, I thought our inability to keep them off the backboard in the last 10 to 15 minutes of the game uh, really hurt us. Only three of your players, Coach, had played in a Kent State game. There's a lot of new guys getting their, their fill of the rivalry. Yeah, no question. Obviously, uh, you know, guys were excited to play in, in, in the game and 
you know, looking forward to that opportunity. Our guys have always, uh, all year long, whether it was, you know, Nevada or the Kent game here or different environments we've played in, they, uh, they really relish those opportunities and enjoy it. I think they have a little bit more edge to them. So I, I knew they were going to play. Uh, again, it came down to execution and just, there you see Dan, I thought Dan had a he did. great, yeah, he really played well at both ends of the floor, defensively and offensively. I'd say five minutes left in the first half, Coach. You're up by seven at 23-16. He lead it to half by a point, and he knew it was going to be a struggle in that second half. Yeah, I thought there were two key junctures in the first half, at 15-8 to eight, Akron and 23-16 to 16, Akron, and both times Jalen Avery, their senior, yeah. stepped up and made big-time plays to bring it back to where it was near dead even both times. And uh, I thought those were opportunities for us to really try to get a little bit more distance. And uh, we weren't able to do that. Certainly give their senior, Avery, who I have a ton of respect for, a lot of credit. Went back and forth in the second half. Coach had a four-point lead. Then it was tied again. It was 57-57 with about 338 left. And then things late got kind of crazy out there. No, it did, obviously. Uh, sometimes that happens. And uh, you got to figure out a way to play through it and try to control what you can control. 66-65, we're going to take a look at some of the uh, plays late in the game. There's 20.9 seconds left. We'll take a look at that a little bit later. But, boy, every possession now in a game like that is key coming down the stretch. Yeah, no question. I thought that was a big one there because that could have tied the game. That should have been an and one. He got hit on the arm on the lob, and uh, but we didn't have that opportunity. Um, you know, game goes back and forth. Seesaw, like so many Akron Kent games have probably over the years. And uh, again, it was just going to come down to a bounce of the ball, a play or two here or there. You know, who makes the fewest mistakes, makes the most plays uh, in concert. And, uh, you know, they did. So, you know, give them credit. I thought their ability to come up with loose balls in the last minute were also a key factor in the game. And, uh, you know, some of those uh, what people call 50-50 balls, we like to call them 80-20 Akron balls, yeah. you know went Kent's way, and I thought that was influential as well. Yeah, final score, 68-65. to 65. As we said, a wild scramble with about 20.9 seconds left. A lot of things happening right there. And, Coach, that's always a tough one. Going back to Akron on the bus, you kind of relive those last 20-plus uh, 20, 20 seconds. No, you do. You know, obviously, you know, we're living a business where it's very competitive. Yep. And, um, you know, you, you win. You try to stay in the middle as much as you can. I've tried yeah. to tell the players that, but there's an element of when you win of, you know, that, uh, you know, there's a, there's a happiness or joy there. Um, you know, obviously when you get beat, you know, we all as coaches, players, um, you know, staff, support staff, sure. take a look at what we could have done better. You know, one thing or two things can make a big difference in a three point ball game. So, you know, it's just part of it, part of the learning experience. And as long as we're getting better every day, and we play with the type of effort we played with on Friday night, and we have no regrets. Sure. You know, uh, obviously a week earlier, that wasn't the yeah. case. You know, and that was the message I was trying to get across to them. We're going to take a break, come back and announce our Players of the Week right after this. It takes attention to detail. With your local Bryant dealer, you're getting more than just a technician. You're getting someone who pays attention to your needs and the little things that make a big difference. It takes a dealer you can rely on. And to keep your family cool this summer. Let me show you how this works. It takes Bryant. Bryant, whatever it takes. And to keep your family comfortable, it takes h -Jacks Plumbing and Heating. Find them at hjacks.com. The difference with Wentz Financial Group is that we do not have a cookie cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market and every client situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. Now it's time for Whose Stock is Rising, brought to you each week by the Wentz Financial Group. We've talked about this young man a lot all season long. He is a Point guard, Lauren Christian Jackson. He's our player on the rise. And as we said, Coach, 31 points, three assists, eight rebounds, one steal, no turnovers against Bowling Green. Yeah, I mean, about as good a game as you can yeah. have, right, Joe? Both ends of the floor. And then that doesn't include his, you know, defensively what he did, being pesky and really being active in his on-the-ball defense. Um, you know, I thought he was terrific on Tuesday night against Bowling Green. And, you know, college basketball, obviously, I always say, especially this time of year, you know, your guards have to play well. 
and obviously Tuesday night against Bowling Green, both he yeah. and Cheese were terrific. I'll tell you, sometimes uh, you forget he's only a sophomore. There's a lot of things he has to do right as a point guard. Sometimes you forget he's only been in the system uh, really two years. He redshirted the one year. Yeah, yeah obviously we got him for two more years. Yeah. And he's going to grow and continue yes. to get better. You know, there's no question about that. He's got to have a great off season. But, you know, right now, obviously, we're focused on season three starting this week and yeah. trying to make some magic, you know, happen. Uh, the great thing about March is – March doesn't care what your record was in That's season true. one or season two, what your cumulative record is, what your conference record is. It doesn't matter. Everybody's zero and zero. And uh, obviously our objective against Miami is to try to be better than them on, on uh, Monday night and then take it from there. Exactly. And I think the teams that have that approach often do well, certainly in bracket-type format and tournament settings. Our player of the week comes out of uh, Houston, Texas, junior Daniel Utomi. And, Coach, he really had a consistent week, shooting the ball well both games. Yeah, had a great week both offensively and defensively. Uh, I thought he played with a really clear mind, caught clear mind, clean heart, and I thought he did that all week. Um, really had a great disposition and approach uh, about how he prepares. We've talked about that at, in great detail before on the show. I mean, you're talking about a guy that, you know, as soon as we get back from Kent State on Friday night, it's 1030 at night, and he's getting treatment. Wow. You know, he comes in early the next morning, he's getting treatment. You know, he's getting shots up. I mean, he's, he is an ultimate pro's pro in terms of how he approaches the game. And uh, he loves the game and uh, respects the game. And, and uh, because of that, as I've said numerous times, I love, I love coaching him. I love guys who love ball. You know, he loves ball. 21 points against Bowling Green, came back with 22 more against Kent State on Friday night. Coach, he shot 50% from behind the arc, 10 out of 20 last week. Yeah, and took good ones, and we yeah. were able to get him some good ones uh, through our offense and uh, through our transition game, our running game, and he, I thought he took really good, uh, good shots. Uh, anytime you take good shots, especially with an elite shot maker like Dan, you increase your chances of shooting a yeah. higher percentage, and that's what he did last week. I thought he really played the right way in both games. Congratulations to both those young men. We're going to take a break. We talked about March Madness. We're going to come back and talk to the coach about March Madness right after this. The University of Akron is more than a college or campus. It's a connection to the community. To the thousands of opportunities right here in Northeast Ohio. And to the partnerships with employers and organizations. Like the LeBron James Family Foundation, where we connect kids to life-changing possibilities. It's the strength of UA, this city, and these connections. It's where students make an impact on their community and in the world. While still making an impact in the classroom. On the track. In the boardroom. And in my community. That's what makes us the University of Akron. Roman was born with a hole in his heart. But thanks to the experts at SUMA who found the problem and fixed it quickly, he's feeling 26 again. Not 76. Minimally invasive heart procedures, many performed in under two hours. SUMA Health, vital for getting back in the game and more. Welcome back to Zips Basketball with head coach John Gross. There's always something special about waking up on March 1st. If you're a basketball fan, it's March Madness. And coach, uh, you're not only a coach, you're a fan. You love this time of year, don't you? I do. I do enjoy it. It's a great time of year. And as I said earlier, the beauty of March is that March, it's clean slate time. You're right. Everybody's zero and zero. You know, you have to figure out how to come together. It's always a time of year, I felt like, where players made plays. You know, coaches obviously can certainly help by making adjustments during games, managing the games, preparation. But it's really about the players yeah. and them enjoying the experience of March, the competition, relishing the opportunity. And uh, like I said, March, March doesn't care what your record was yeah. previously. I've lived it. So it's about us playing well uh, on a given day and trying to be better than that team and trying to get your name written on the next line of the bracket. I mean, that's, that's really what it's about. Anything can happen in March Madness. We've seen so many great games through the course of the tournament. Anything can happen. No question about it, um, especially in this type of setting. You know, this isn't the NBA playoffs. That's right. Where it's a best of seven or in some cases previously they used to have best of five. Yeah. You know, this is a one-game deal. We talk a lot in terms of capability as we're preparing and scouting. And, uh, you know, in one game, there's a lot of guys that are capable of doing a lot of different things. And that's why I said players make plays this time of year. And hopefully we'll be talking a lot about March Madness next week. Thanks for joining us today. For Ed Coach John Gross, I'm Joe Dunn. We'll see you back here next week with more University of Akron basketball. Wentz Financial Group presents 
Zips Basketball Weekly with John Gross. Investment management for your lifetime. Contributing sponsors include Summa Health, it's your health. Let's own it together. Bud Light, the world's famous light beer. Dilly Dilly. Double Tree by Hilton Akron Fairline, preferred hotel of Zips Athletics. By your Akron, Canton, Bryant, Heaton, and Cooling dealers. And the Spaghetti Warehouse, famous for its 15-layer lasagna.